This study found that eating a lot of rice increased the risk of dying from heart disease due to arsenic in the crop. It's been estimated that the inorganic arsenic in rice is to blame for over 50,000 avoidable premature deaths per year. Their findings, once corrected for the major factors such as obesity, smoking, age, lack of income, lack of education, etc., found there was an association between elevated cardiovascular mortality recorded at a local authority level and the consumption of inorganic arsenic-bearing rice. Arsenic is a well-known poison and can also contribute to other health problems, including cancer, if consumed at even relatively low concentrations over an extended period of time. Arsenic occurs naturally in the soil and is increased in locations that have used arsenic-based herbicides or water laced with the toxin for irrigation purposes. Rice is grown under flooded conditions and this draws arsenic out of the soil and into the water and then is absorbed by the plants. Rice is particularly vulnerable because arsenic mimics other chemicals the plant absorbs via its root system, allowing the toxin to bypass the plant's defences. Now, the researchers of the study did say their study is limited and more specialised investigations are needed to confirm any link. They also said that people shouldn't avoid eating rice altogether as it does offer many health benefits due to its high fibre content. Instead, people should consider choosing rice varieties which are known to typically have lower inorganic arsenic contents, such as basmati. So, should we completely give up rice? Well, here's what Dr Greger and Dr Barnard had to say. Is rice a red light food? Ooh, good question. So in my series on arsenic, you'll note in the last few videos that I bump uh, white rice from a yellow to a red light food and brown rice from a green to a yellow. And that's because of the arsenic content. And so you should check out the whole series if you're interested in why I would do that. Rice no longer appears on a daily dozen. Why? Because of arsenic. Rice, like all grains, are grown in the soil, and they pick up whatever elements are in the soil, and sometimes that's good. You know, the iron or calcium that's in the ground will get into plants, and, and our body uses that. But arsenic is an element as well, and it's in the ground, and I think some of the blame here goes to the chicken farmers, who for decades and decades used arsenicals to deworm the chickens, and so we, we have pollution with arsenic there, too. Plants can pick it up and, and rice can. The concern that is theoretically present is that arsenic can increase the cancer. However, we've done lots and lots of studies and you don't see any increased cancer risk among rice eaters. If anything, it's quite the opposite. You see reductions in risk, so it doesn't seem to be a problem. That said, if you want to maybe make some healthy choices, it doesn't matter too much if it's brown or white. And the reason I say that is that the brown covering of the brown rice, that's the fiber, that, that little brown cap, and the arsenic does seem to concentrate a little bit more there than in the rice grain. So you'd think brown rice might be higher in arsenic, but it tends to be, for some reason, less absorbable. So it kind of just goes through you if it's in the brown rice. The second thing is that you can choose where you buy it. Different soil has different arsenic content. It looks like the rice that comes from California, the rice that comes from India, the rice that comes from Pakistan, probably the cleanest rice that we see. And then some people will, when they're cooking rice, they'll soak it for a little while, um, pour off the soaking water, sometimes cook it with extra water, pour off that water, and that will remove some of the unwanted elements there. So you can put those to work. My, my big concern is that if a person is fearful of the tiny traces that they're going to get, that they might end up neglecting this otherwise really healthy food. And I don't think that it's a useful idea to diminish it as a result of that particular concern. This research has found that soaking rice overnight and then cooking it in excess water can slash the levels of arsenic by 80%. The following steps are recommended when cooking rice to reduce the arsenic content as much as possible. Number one, soak your rice overnight. This opens up the grain and allows the arsenic to escape. Number two, drain the rice and rinse thoroughly with fresh water. Number three, for every part rice, add five parts water and cook until the rice is tender. Do not allow it to boil dry. And finally, number four, drain the rice and rinse again with hot water to get rid of the last of the cooking water. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.